Hello everybody, my name is Gitter Moore. Welcome back for another video of NHL 21 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we uh, went from, uh, well, we tried to do the playoffs, but got eliminated pretty fast, I believe, in the second round and all. So we went into the free agency and then all the good stuff, right? The draft picks that, uh, which the draft lottery wasn't really that good for us this year as well. Another year where it's kind of disappointing. But I guess it's fine because we worked it out in the free agency as usual. We didn't go for any big players this time around. We just went for some players that were good and all uh, overall that could help us out uh, depth wise. Because we had a couple of prospects in the AHL that uh, were ready to me move up to the NHL. So I got some people like Vertanen and stuff like that, right? But um, And I also made a big trade, huge trade actually. Traded Hoffman, our 40 goal scorer. Uh, two years in a row, I traded him for Ovechkin. I figured, you know, Ovechkin, he can score the same amount of goals, if not more, and he's worth basically the same amount of value-wise as Hoffman, and he's better. In my opinion, it's just better, so why not get Ovechkin? So, so far, so good. Uh, it's turning out to be very good. We simulated the first 20 games in the last video, and I think uh, we're doing just fine. Two good uh, uh, sequences here. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to continue to simulate. I want, I do want to make sure that my scouts are equipped though before I start simulating again. Should make sure that uh, everything's good, boys. I believe, yeah, everything's good. So all the scouts are good to go. We can uh, start sim the simulation once again. Uh, we're definitely going to finish the season off in this video. Uh, our third, I believe this is our, what, our third season or our fourth season? I think this is our fourth season, boys. Uh, two, four, and five. So all the way up to the Vegas Golden Knights game. And uh, let's see if we can win some games here. Get some winning streak uh, going or something. Because last time, last video, right? You saw at the end there, we started to have win, lose, win, lose all the time. So let's hope that we can get some wins. I mean, there was two lot of wins in a row. But uh, there we go. Only one loss against the Pittsburgh Penguins so far. And we got a win against the Philadelphia Flyers. And another win against the Edmonton Oilers. All right, so we're winning games right now. That's what I like to see. Yeah, we're winning games. Perfect, boys. That's fantastic. You can see I've got an alert right here. All my scouts are ready to be equipped. So I'm going to have to do that uh, really quick. We do. Uh, are we sitting at the, as the top team? We are sitting as the top team, boys. The Canucks actually fell from grace a little bit there. They started to lose. And it's actually the Sharks are popping up in terms of points so that's interesting Nico Ishara is really having a fantastic season right now in the second line I love it I love seeing that all right so uh, let me go uh, take care of the scouts so the scouts have been equipped we can go ahead and continue the simulation we're doing fantastic as of right now I believe we're what four and two uh, four and one only after uh, our la first five games of simulation yep four and one boys so let's continue the simulation right here we're coming up right here so that's going to be two, four, and five. So all the way up to the Columbus Blue Jackets game, boys. Let's see if we can continue this winning streak going. I believe we have three wins in a row right here. Four wins in a row with the Vegas Golden Knights. Can we continue the winning streak, boys? That's exactly what I wanted right here. Yeah, they, there we go. They're giving me... My team's giving me what I wanted. So that's a five game... Five... Uh, actually, six wins in a row right here. I like to see that. And that's actually two shootout, shout outs in a row. And there's another win. That's seven in a row. And uh, we finally lose for the first time. So after f seven games, seven wins in a row, we get a loss against uh, uh, Montreal, but only 2-1. So we're actually, we're really playing very well on our, on our per own perspective, boys. So 8-2 uh, and two after the last 10 games. Ishiar is still the best player, 37 points. Uh, we got 47 points in our end. It looks like the Sharks are really popping up out of nowhere. 49 points. They're better than us right now. I don't know how, well, what type of team they have. They must have like big time potential uh, players that they probably drafted or something along the way. Uh, let me see the scouts. Do we have anything? We do have some scouts I need to take care of. So hold on, boys. The scouts are done once again, boys. There's a lot of things to, uh, I had to do right there. So 37 points. Yeah, 30 per games played. Let's take a look at our team really quick. Or our players in that instance. Uh, Eeler is still at 86. Don't know if he, after this season, is going to grow or not. Uh, grow back to an 87. 
you still got that exact elite potential so it can still like uh that has the potential of ha being an 88 or an 89 at least you know uh 24 points in 30 games played so he's not having a fantastic season but he's having a good season in itself uh, much better than uh, with the Winnipeg Jets at least so he's having a decent season with us uh playing alongside of Jack Hughes which Jack Hughes are kind of the same side so Jack Hughes is not the de dominating player he was last year it's more of Ishiar uh, this year that's doing that but it's still fine Paul Yarvi having a decent season but 16 points I would expect a little bit more but he's 83 overall I guess uh, we got Jesper Bratt as well, uh, playing with Isha. Isha is having a great season. Bjorkstrand having a good season. What about Ovechkin? Ovechkin has 22 points, 11 goals. All right, uh, we're taking a quick look at him, boys. I want to make sure. We want. I want to see if he's going to be able to break the record of Gretzky. I don't know if he's going to be able to this year. Maybe one more year he might be able to do it. Uh, we're playing with Barkov, that's definitely helping him out at Vertan and they're all playing good right now, boys. There's not a single uh, lineup that's actually doing bad, and even the first line is starting to do good, so that's fantastic to see. You can see these players uh, really play well together, and uh, you like seeing that. You really like seeing that. Mark Strom playing great as usual. We got ourselves a great goaltender in here, boys. Don't know for how long he's going to last as an 88 overall. Because he is going to start to drop probably because of his age and everything. Yeah, I don't feel like we need to change anything at all. We're winning games, boys. So I, I, I don't feel like we really need to change anything. I feel like everything is fine. So let's continue the simulation. Let's see what we can do right here. Can we win? We sure can against the Columbus. We win. Can we win against uh, Montreal right here? They're kind of tweets. Or, or we cannot win for the life of us against Montreal. I don't know why, but they keep uh, like winning 2-1 to one against us for some reason. Uh, so so far so uh, so far it's two two. Can we win against Boston? Take it back. There we go. We win against Boston three two for us so far, and um, yeah, I think we're doing all right. I guess uh, right now we we don't have too much to worry about. Isha is still doing great. Uh, let me take a look at the uh, assigned scout. Maybe I can. Uh, there's a scouts or something. No, there's well actually there is. There is some scouts I need to take care of. All right, so now that that's been take care, uh, taken care of, we can go ahead and continue the simulation, boys. Uh, not a lot to do aside from that. We're doing fantastic. So uh, two, four, and five. So after the Colorado games, which is going to be against the uh, Florida Panthers, let's see if we can manage to get another wing three going maybe right there. Oh, my God. Look at that trade offer. Incoming trade offer from Pittsburgh. They want to give us Crosby, Madison, which Crosby dropped to a top nine, boys. He's no longer a top six. He's actually dropping quick. Uh, he's still got a two-year deal. He's uh, with a third and a fourth for Hernandez, Hutchins, and Hicka. Let's make our due diligence. I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to accept the trade because these are three big-time prospects. We're talking about a medium top four, the guy that we drafted in the first round uh, last year, right? We just draft, uh, drafted him. He's uh, playing great in the minors for us. And there's another first round pick, uh, two first rounders. And Anderson is a good player as well. So these are three great uh, players right here for the future of our team. And they want to give, uh, they want that in exchange for Crosby. Uh, like the potential of having someone like Crosby would be great. But I'm already taken in the center position. There's a reason why I didn't go for him. I went for um, Ovechkin instead. Is because I don't feel like I need to go after him. What's his trade value? If we get rid of him. He does really has a low uh, low value. Well, not that low actually. It's pretty high up. It's in the tweener zone. Maybe if I trade him. I, I mean, I could trade him for someone like McLeod. But McLeod doesn't have any trade value. So... I would have to get rid of him, but he's a medium toxic, boys. I, I don't know. He's a good player. He's a good player. I kind of want to keep him. I, I'm, I'm not going to go for Crosby. I'm not going for Crosby, boys. It's tempting, but I already have the team, and the team I have is winning games like over and over again. We're, we're having a great season with the team I'm ha I have right now, so I don't want to break it up or anything. Let's uh, do assistant coach replace in the minors. Uh, Del Cole got injured. 
He's playing in the fourth line uh, of the AHL anyways. So can, uh, there we go. So it's basically uh, back where we were uh, at the beginning there. It's a win-lose, win-lose scenario. That's after 10 games where that puts us. It puts us at 6-4 and four after the last 10 games. All right, so... So far, it seems like it's always the same thing. We got our first 10 games. It's really great. Afterwards, the other 10 games is like uh, good, but not great. So 59 points. We got 61 points for the Maple Leafs. They're in the lead right now. So we're tied up with the Sharks. We got a, it's a three-way uh, uh, three way battle right now for the President's Trophy. This share is starting to drop a little bit in terms of production, but it still has more points than uh, games for uh, boys. So... Uh, there's that. Let's see uh, the team stats. Maybe there's some adjustments we can do. You never know. That might be uh, have something to do with it. We are still the best uh, offensive team. Defensive-wise, we are the best defensive team. We are the best power play. And we have the third best penalty kill. There's nothing we can do. We don't have to change anything whatsoever, boys. We're doing just fine. So I don't know. I don't know what seems to be the trouble right here. Uh, if we take a look at the uh, at the lines, maybe we can figure it out. Are we giving up a little bit too many goals? Maybe first line is starting to give up goals again. Maybe that's that's could be something that has to do with it. Not entirely sure, boys. Playmaker sniper. Uh, you know what? Because there's two playmakers, that might b uh, be the problem. That might be the problem, the fact that there's two playmakers. Two playmakers is always bad. You you want to have one playmaker for a line and then whatever you want, like a two-way forward, a power forward, or a sniper. But uh, two playmakers, you don't want that in the same lineup because it's not good at all, boys. Uh, so we can't put Jesper Brat in there. He's a playmaker as well. Uh, we got to keep him there. Plus, he's playing just fine with Ishar. He's playing actually fantastic with Ishar and Bjorkstrand. So we're going to keep these, this lineup. And uh, we can't move uh, use, so I'm thinking maybe we could bring it. Maybe it would be time to bring up Ovechkin, boys. It would probably be time to bring him up because then again, you know, you got uh, people like Puliarvi, but Puliarvi is a sniper. Maybe if we can hold on, if I want to do it, experience Vertanen right here and Ovechkin. So if we do that. We bring these two guys together up, uh, upwards. We got the power forward, we got the playmaker, and we got the sniper. That could work uh, fantastic for us, right? That could really uh, work really well for us. I just don't know how well it would work, but uh, we're gonna try that one out. And uh, Ehlers, even though he's an elite, I was going for the potential. That's why I was playing them. But uh, I guess I can play instead uh, Ovechkin up high. Yeah, I guess I can play Ovechkin instead. And keep Ehlers in here and have him play with Barkov. Uh, it's a playmaker two-way sniper, so it still uh, works just fine. So let's start it up, boys, after basically uh, all the... So let's start it up, boys. We're going to go all the way up to the Minnesota Wild game. Uh, let's see if we can get a winning streak going with our brand new lineups. Uh, there's two wins in a row if you can... Uh, uh, if you count, obviously, uh, the game against the Carolina Hurricanes. There's another shootout. A shootout against uh, uh, the Rangers right there. I like to see that. But then two loss in a the row there. Don't like to see that. You did, we did get a point by losing in overtime against the Chicago Blackhawks. But still, yeah, that's three losses in a row. I do not like that. We're in the President's Trophy uh, like a lead right now. I don't like seeing that. I want to see something better than this right now. We got to produce better than this. Isher is still doing great. Okay, uh, let me see the scouts really quick. Make sure that everything's fine, boys. Looks like uh, everything's fine. SHL was is ready to be done, but uh, it's going to have to wait. It's going to have to wait its turn. I'm going to go all, uh, for another five games of simulation right here. So three, four, five. All the way up to the Calgary Flames game into the second of February. We're gonna move up uh, from the month right here. We lose again against the um, the Arizona Coyotes. We did lose, uh, win uh, two games though. Uh, if we can manage to just win some games here, like get it going, because that's really what I need the most. I just want to see if the lineup change really works out for the team. 
This one seem it seems like it's worse uh, worse for the team. It's actually not doing too good. I mean, we're uh, kind of at the tweener zone right now. What's going on after the last ten games? Four, five, four, and one. Yeah, I don't know, boys. I don't feel like uh, it's really working out as much as I would have liked to. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it is. I, I think it's working out, boys. That's uh, not too good. Uh, still the best player, though. He's gonna get uh, at least a thirty goals uh, season for Isha, so that's good. And uh, we've got right now. So where are we? 69 72 71 and we're at the 70 yeah we need to start winning games because otherwise we're gonna lose our chance to have the president's trophy for like a third year in a row uh let's take a look at our team play and uh, our players these guys are really playing well together i mean i uh it's normal because it's a power forward playmaker sniper it always works out very well uh, very well and actually Ovechkin, ever since playing on the first line, exploded offensively, boys. He's exploding. Uh, same thing for Ish uh, Jack Hughes. Uh, well, not really. He's kind of the same, actually. And Vertanen, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. It's just I do know that uh, Ovechkin is going, uh, growing fast. So there's that. What about Ehlers? How are they doing? The third line? Well, I don't know if they're doing too well. I'm not sure if they're actually doing very well. I definitely think, boys, that the, the best thing to do right now is to just let them play. Let these guys play together. Uh, get their chemistry up. I definitely feel like in the f uh, over time, uh, they're going to just get better. Not worse, but better, you know. So I feel like uh, we really need to just let them be. And uh, I'll see how the first line goes and how the third line goes because of the changes. I know that for the second line is doing great. Uh, it's been doing great the entire year, so I don't want to change them up. That's for sure. That's one line that I do not want to move. Uh, I don't want, do not want to touch whatsoever, boys. So we gotta keep that in mind. Fourth line as well. We don't want, we don't want to change the fourth line and the second line. It's just the third line and the fir first line. Uh, sometimes they do good, sometimes not. So I wanna, you know, I wanna see how it's gonna work out. Is it, uh, is it does it have to do uh, something to do with uh, our team play maybe but uh, I think our strategies were just fine the last time we take a look so I don't think anything is going to change too much uh, drastically at least so two four five all the way up to the Arizona Coyotes game we might have to actually change the scouts afterwards so I'm going to stop there uh, we lose against the Calgary Flames now if we start losing a lot. I am definitely Alexander Barkov. He's not injured. He was he was great. He, uh, he was never injured. I don't know. Maybe a minor injury or something. But yeah, if we start losing like crazy, like uh, a bit too much uh, to my liking, I'm definitely gonna put back the lineups like they were because I don't like I I don't want to lose too much. It's same thing for each year. I guess there's a lot of minor injuries going. But all right, so three out of five wins. Three win uh, three wins out of five games. So that's good for me. That's good enough for me, boys. As long as we, we win more than we lose, I'm fine with that. I'm definitely fine with that, all right? Maybe we're going to not have the uh, the best play team of the year. But uh, if it means at least that my players are producing and stuff like that, I'm I'm just fine with that. Now, I, need, I do need to take a look at the scouts again. I'll make sure that everybody's fine. Feels like they are. It's, uh, it seems like the uh, next five games, so it seems uh, uh, at the 60th game, we're going to have to change it up. Uh, probably, boys. It seems like it's going to be the case. So uh, let's go and continue to four and five. So at the Washington Capitals game, we're coming up towards the trade deadline as well, guys. We already know uh, this, were, this is working out. Why are we losing against teams like the Arizona Coyotes? The ship makes those. Actually, Coyotes are pretty good this year. Oh my god, are we losing really? Against the Edmonton Oilers? That's two losses in a row. We win against uh, Anaheim though. At least we're not winning. We're not having a big losing streak or anything. So we're doing good on that side. Can we get a win finally? We cannot win against the Montreal Canadiens. It's undoable. Don't know what's going on, boys. We just can't win against them. All right, I think we're losing a bit too much there. We're def the lines are not helping us. It's 5-5, five, five, yeah, after the last 10 games. And Ishiar is starting to drop. He's not producing as much as he was. He's, he's definitely not producing. Okay, 
I'm going to take a look actually at this team stats. Maybe there's something there I can tweak. Uh, we're still the best defensive team. I just were, I, I guess we're just scoring less. We're the best power play still. And penalty kill was still the third best. We don't need to change anything. I guess it's just the third line. Second line needs to keep it going. Uh, keep uh, or get back their mojo. I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, they're, they're kind of struggling a little bit. I don't know. But uh, let's see right here. Uh, first uh, first game, can we uh, can we win it? Please win the game. There we go. We win against the Washington Capitals, which is uh, really good. Exactly what we wanted. So there's a win right there. And against Boston, before the trade deadline, can we win against them? Uh, we Oh, hold on. Nope. I'm not going to make that trade. There's another win. There's another win, boys. All right, good. And uh, before we go into the trade deadline, I want to make sure that everything's fine. So, uh, yeah, so far, let's take a look at the stats for the teams. Uh, overall, 81 for the Canucks, 90 for the Avalanche. We are not going to get our third, for the third time in a row, our President's Trophy uh, award. But that's fine because there's no way we're going to beat uh, the Penguins at this point in time in the Avalanche. They're just flying off out into space with the points so it's not gonna happen boys unfortunately you share the entire season was having a great season but i believe what's happening is because of Avechkin playing on the first line having all these goals the game is making it so that it's kind of a neutral neutralizing uh Ishir's offense i guess it's that's what it's doing so uh, yeah Avechkin's getting all the goals for our team so it's neutralizing the game it's like don't know how the, it's kind of works very weird in the sense. That's just how it works, I guess. Ovechkin scoring like crazy. He like he popped up out of nowhere, starting scoring. Actually, um, Jack Hughes is producing a bit more. I like seeing that now. Uh, so I think that's what I needed to do is maybe get another sniper in here instead of the power forward. I think the power forward was stealing a little bit too many points away from uh, Jack Hughes. And I need uh, Jack Hughes to have all the attention to himself right here so uh Jesper Bratt, Ischier and Bjorkstrand the entire season they were doing fine but they kind of started to slow down a little bit I don't know what might be the cause of that exactly uh, I'm really not sure but uh, nevertheless Ischier the entire season he already has more point the, the same amount of points as he had last year uh, with us and he got injured a lot actually so it's kind of similar season as last year but a little bit better in my opinion because he does have 30 goals I'm going to keep him in the team because he did impress me quite a lot he had a great season for us uh, Barkov uh, might want to get rid of him all right so Barkov might be the guy I want to get rid of uh, we don't already have a playmaker playing on the third line, though, uh, as uh, for Ehlers, right? So Ehlers already um, is having a great season for us. Uh, so he's the playmaker. We got a power forward going on in the third line right here. I think what I want is just get a sniper. We're going to need to look for a sniper center, a center sniper, boys, that can really elevate the third line. And help out uh, really the third line and stuff. All right, so that's pretty much the only trade I could do. Otherwise, I mean, I really is Barkov in exchange for a center uh, uh, center sniper. And otherwise, the other thing that I would want to get is potentially uh, maybe changing it up for Dadanov or Schwartz. There's too many things going on here. I don't think this is not working out minus two overall wise. I think they could be producing a lot better. Uh, they're doing uh, really well together, uh, team rate wise. But I could definitely up see myself upgrading something right here, right? Upgrading the lineup uh, quite a lot. I want to keep McLeod. So what I want to do is maybe get rid of Dadanov or get rid of Schwartz, boys. Either one of these two. All right. Um, Dadanov only has one year left. So I think I'm going to get rid of Dadanov. And maybe get like a playmaker instead. All right, boys, let's uh, go into the trade deadline. I'm ready. I made uh, my pre-scouting of every single team, uh, what they had to offer me in terms of value for the players. I've got a couple of centers, a couple of right wingers I might be interested in having. And uh, we'll see if I uh, which one I'm going to go for. I'm definitely going to go uh, make some upgrades if I can. And maybe help out my team uh, play a little bit better. All right. So 
uh let's advance the day go into the free a trade deadline have a lot of fun right here uh alpern is back let me get him back into the miners which position was he uh, playing oh i guess it was a minor injury so never mind him we are going to be buying we always buy obviously we want these old timers to come into our team help us out for the playoffs uh mick Avoy, ryan ellis brian olby all, all players like these but i already know what i want to go for here boys all right so i'm not taking a eh, wasting any time we got uh six hours to make a choice here in game uh, we got six, six hours to make our decisions. We got plenty of time, but I uh, gotta make sure that I get these players just in case they're in a trading block. What we're gonna have to end up doing, I guess, is because we're just gonna have to find uh, the players we were looking for right here. So let's see. Uh, I have them pinned, so I don't know if they're still pinned. Uh, Boston Bruins traded McEvoy uh, Bergeron. To the Buffalo Sabres boys for a first round. Two firsts and Gundler. Oh my goodness. The Bruins just unloaded boys big time. They just got rid of all their players. Well that shit is crazy. Alright let's move up. Uh, I'm probably going to see who I I picked up. So Boston Bruins got rid of McEvoy and Bergeron boys. That's crazy. They, uh, they got some draft picks though. There's that I, at least. Uh, let's see if I got uh, anything right here. There's a trade alert. Los Angeles Kings trade uh, Campe for a second and a third. Okay. Uh, asking it. I got to make this quick. I want to make uh, these things. Where are they at? Uh, the ones I I went for right there. God damn it. I can't find them, boys. Oh, I don't know. Is it glitched out or can I not see it? I don't know if I can see the the guys I, uh, I went for right here. Hold on. Uh, what I'm going to end up doing right here is I'm going to go at uh, the draft board, uh, I guess. Is that where I'm supposed to uh, to go? Uh, where I'm supposed to go for that? Protected draft? No, it's not. So where am I supposed to go? Second and a, and a fourth for Grandstrom and a fourth, I guess, by the Anaheim Ducks. Okay, interesting. Where do I go? Oh, trade alert. Fucking St. Louis already making trades. Ines Rosa and uh, Roy going to uh, Tampa Bay for Schneider, a fourth, and Green. All right. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to go for right here. Well, fuck it. I'm just going to go for the... I'm just going to go for one I know, someone I know already I want. Uh, so I want uh, Crosby. I'm going for Crosby, boys. All right. I'm making that executive decision. I'm going for him. He's 36 years of age, 84 overall. Uh, top nine is Zach. He's going to really start dropping like crazy, but he's having a great season. He has uh, 70 points in 62 games played. He's producing like crazy all the time. Uh, Vegas just traded a second round pick. Sedenberg for uh, Kas uh, Kasha, boys. So Kasha is going to uh, Vegas. Uh, that's interesting. All right. So Crosby, I'm getting you in exchange for Barkov. That was the deal. So I'm getting Barkov out of here. I'm getting Crosby out of here. That might seem like a bad trade, boys. But Barkov is a two-way forward. I don't have time to have two-way forwards on my team. All right. So I'm trading him. And in exchange, I'll get uh, a, fur, a second. Hold on. Uh, Minnesota Wilds, third round pick, Greenway, Pedden. Exchange for uh, Nye back in the second. All right. Can I get their first round pick for uh, Pittsburgh? I might get their first round pick. Let's see if I can get their first round pick. I can't. The first round pick is not going to work. Let's get um, maybe two second, se two second rounds. Accepted. So there's a trade, boys. We traded Barkov to the Pittsburgh Penguins in exchange for Crosby and two second rounders. All right. So we got Crosby in the team instead of Barkov. Uh, San Jose trades Yafalo, Savar, Laferty. In exchange for a second, a third, and Ryan or Slater. I don't know what his first name is. All right, so there's that. Now we just got to find ourselves a replacement for Dadanov, boys. I haven't figured out anybody that's really a playmaker. There's another trade right here. Okay, no. Uh, yeah, I haven't really figured out anybody that's truly a playmaker right wing position wise. But we did get Crosby. A trade alert. Tempo base moving like crazy. Uh, they're getting a, uh, they're trading their first round pick and a third to Montreal in exchange for Lekanen, a fourth and Stenman. 
What? Montreal's getting a first for Lekanen. I mean, I do that trade right now, Earl. I would like, I love to see that every time of the week, I guess. Whatever, boys. Lekanen for a first. That's a first for me. All right, so Crosby right here. Uh, great addition for me. In my humble opinion, I feel like he's going to be a great addition. Uh, New York Rangers are going to trade the third round pick. Patrick Marlowe, a fourth, a fifth in exchange for Sonny, a third and a sixth. That's a kind of minor trade right there. Uh, Marlowe is like a veteran player. Speaking of which, I need uh, a right wing right now. Uh, a right wing, uh, the, uh, the right wing uh, guy. Is there anybody uh, available right now? Anybody that you guys want to trade? Any team whatsoever that might want to trade? Uh, trade alert, Calgary Flames, trade Luongo, Leach in exchange for Pech, Pesci and a fifth from pick. Okay, what about this guy, Garland? All right, he's a bit better. He's a sniper, though. I got to find a, uh, like a, a playmaker. That's what I need. I need a playmaker, boys. Uh, Fisher, nope. I don't, uh, I don't want that right now. Playmaker, nobody. We've got to figure out, boys, which team has a, a playmaker. Rather love. Rather love, but he's a bottom six, boys. Only for one year we could have him. He's like a rental. Uh, Tyler Ennis. For Mo so Montreal trades Tyler Ennis in the third. And Newell Jolson in exchange for a first and a second. So Montreal is unloading. Uh, they're getting a bunch of first rounders. Okay, uh, let's see. So Radulov could be a really good one. Radulov, absolutely, could be a good one. So let's keep that one in mind. He's at the bottom six. Uh, we can get some probably something better. Let's just make sure that uh, there is nothing uh, better as an option for us. Uh, we get a, uh, another trade alert by uh, the Red Wings right here. They're trading Malgin and Mark Stone in a third and Timishov in exchange for a first Drysdale and a second. All right. Uh, Patrick Kane, his value is all the way down. Oh, well done. Patrick Kane's value is down. Because he's not producing as much. Actually, he's having a great season. He's having a... I don't know what... Okay, you know what? You know what, boys? It's Patrick Kane. It's Patrick Kane. We got to get him. We already had Crosby. Imagine if we had Patrick Kane. Uh, the Oilers are trading the third, uh, two thirds per, in Purcell in exchange for uh, Oscar Lindblom and the, the Smith boys. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, Patrick Kane. That would be a great asset right there. Uh, I'm definitely going to give them like a prospect. But uh, let's see. So what do we... We wanted to get rid of Dadanov. That's what we were going to get rid of. So let's get rid of Dadanov. One year uh, younger. And uh, let's see. So we got... Uh, we want to get rid of him. Ottawa wants Victor Rask and Shaw. They got out uh, in the third round pick in exchange for a first and a fourth. All right, let's make our move. Let's try and get uh, Patrick Kane, boys. It's our second biggest trade of the day, boys. Two huge trades right here. We got Crosby. And now we got Patrick Kane. So we traded two ter uh, two seconds. Uh, and uh, that enough. He, they're going um, towards... I guess they're going towards the Chicago Blackhawks boys, and I'm going. I'm getting a uh, big time player. So the Dadanov. Hold on. What what was that trade by by um by Toronto? Toronto just got Philip Dano boys in exchange for Cylinder fourth and a seventh. Okay, yeah, that's the biggest trade so far. Patrick King going to uh, to us. And a third round pick, and uh, we had to get rid of two uh, second rounds. But it doesn't matter because uh, in exchange for that enough, we get another sniper that is much, much better, boys. So I'm done with my trades. I got what I wanted. I got what I wanted by far. I could have, I could say that Make a Voice probably the biggest trade by far that was done. But uh, it's a close one. I mean, the, um, definitely the, the Patrick Kane one was a close one, boys. So. Fantastic. I'm really happy about my trade acquisitions. All right, so we're out of the trade deadline. Uh, take a look at this. So these are the biggest trade that happened during the trade deadline. They've, they've got a couple of huge trades. I was part of it too. Uh, I mean, just look at that trade. That's huge by Boston. They get two first rounders and Gondler, which is kind of a prospect in itself, in exchange for McAvoy and Bergeron, boys. They're unloading though. 
And if McAvoy could have stayed with them, I guess they didn't have enough money to pay him or something. But I don't have tr like I don't have that uh, the the money thing doesn't count in my scenario. It, it's not even a thing. So I don't know, boys. It's kind of weird that they got rid of McAvoy. They could have paid him, but that's fine, I guess. And uh, that's pre that looks like that's it. That's for them the biggest trade that happened. So we're gonna advance the day really quick. Uh, Del Cole, that's fine. I already put you in there. Uh, we are gonna have to modify. Grosby is officially the best player of our team, obviously, because he's got the most points. He's coming in with 70 points, boys, during the season. Uh, so yeah, what we're gonna do? Best lines right now, and what we're gonna end up doing right now is uh, McLeod. You're gonna play instead of Getzlav. Getzlav, you're not playing. It's Jesper Bratt who's playing. I'm going to modify the lineups, boys. Uh, I'll see you guys once it's done. All right, lines have been made, boys. We are ready to continue the simulation. We're going to have this for the rest of the season. It's going to be Ovechkin playing with Jack Hughes and Patrick Kane. That, that is one half of a 50, a filthy first line right there, boys. Second line, we're keeping the same. It worked out during the entire season. I'm keeping it like that, boys. Either is McLeod uh, moving up and Vertanen for the third line. Second line, boys, Jaden Schwartz, Crosby, the newly uh, uh, acquired player, right? So uh, Crosby playing with two center uh, snipers. So that could work, all right? Pugliavi, I'm putting him on the fourth line. Uh, even though, yes, he's an elite, uh, he's not producing as much as I would like him to. It seems like Vertan is a bit better, boys. So I want to... I want to get the things in there. I want to get the players in there. Get them, uh, get them to play a little bit. I mean, I could get to, I could do that. I guess I could do that. You know what? Let's try it out like that. Let's actually play Vertan in the fourth line with Schwartz and Crosby. Play Pugliarvi on the third line like he's supposed to, and uh, let's see how it's gonna work. The thing is, I want to keep Patrick Kane in here. Normally, I would play Pugliarvi in the first line because he's a, a an elite and everything. But uh, because Patrick Kane is so good, I want to play him there. And the rest is basically the same. There's no more giant changing in lineups and or anything like that. So uh, we're ready to go. I'm ready to continue simulation the rest of the season, boys. Uh, and uh, see where this is going to lead us. Did we play two games so far? I believe we did, right? Yeah, we played two games. So all the way, uh, we're going to simulate three more games before I take a look at the scouts. So... Uh, three more games right here all the way up to the Philadelphia Flyers game. Uh, let's see what we're up against with our brand new uh, players. Crosby and Patrick Kane in the lineup. Uh, two legendary players added to the mix. Uh, we do get, start winning games right here. And with these three wins, we're set up right there. Yeah, there we go. There's five wins in a row right now, boys. We're in the five-game winning streak. That's what I like to see. I like to see that we're bouncing back up. Uh, that is absolutely perfect. Uh, Crosby on the fourth line, not going to produce as much, but he's still going to produce. All right? He's someone that produces year after year, no matter what overall he is. So he's still going to be great for us, no matter where he plays. Went ahead and uh, equipped the scouts, boys. Let's continue the simulation. So far, so good. We're at five wins in a row. Can we continue our winning streak right here and get back into the shape of things? Uh, two, four... And five all the way up to the uh, Philadelphia Flyers game once more. Uh, we lose. So our winning streak ends just like that. But we win again against the Dallas Stars and the Columbus Blue Jackets as well. Uh, we win against the Carolina Hurricanes and Buffalo Sabres as well. Uh, Goldfax, uh, Kovacs got injured. We're going to assistant coach replace him. And uh, there it is. So we win five in a row, we lose one, we win four in a row. So we start, we're starting to win games. Uh, I, I made the changes that I needed to make, right? The trades that I needed to make, I made them, boys. And that's perfect. And uh, we got a great player. I mean, Crosby, uh, still doing fantastic. Didn't get any, uh, a lot of points ever since he got to, uh, with us. Be that's be only because he's playing on the fourth line. Uh, I don't have a lot of space for uh, his type of guy. All right, at the top nine, I've got better players to play than him overall, and I want to play them. But uh, he's playing great. Uh, 98 points for us, 101 points for Pittsburgh. Made sense for them to want to get rid of Crosby. They don't need him anymore. Uh, and uh, he was, like, getting really old. Now, I don't know. Uh, like, they what, they got Barkov, so Barkov is still going to play. They got plenty of years for them. They got someone in exchange for him. 
and uh, I got my round and my draft pick, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna get the with the Avalanche like that and Crosby uh, and the Pittsburgh Penguins. We're not getting anything, boys. We're not gonna get the President's Trophy this year, but at least we can maybe hope for a place to have a good season and really like keep it moving, keep winning, I guess. Uh, how's it going for Ovechkin right now? So Ovechkin, 38 goals right now. Two goals away from the 40. 40 mark again. And uh, he's not that far away. 889 goals, boys. The record is 894 by Kretzky. So he needs six more goals. Ovechkin needs six more goals to break it. To break the record. Just six more goals, Ovechkin. I'm sure you can do it. Go ahead and do it, man. 65 points so far. And uh, Jack Hughes, how is he doing this far uh, this season? 54 points. So he's not producing that much, boys. He's not really producing that much. But I want to keep him in the first line because he's 22 years of age. He's already in 89 overall. I mean, he needs to play in the first line. He needs to grow. He doesn't have. Uh, we don't have a choice in that matter. Uh, what about uh, Patrick Kane? How's he doing ever since he went uh, with us? So four uh, four points in uh, eight games played. So half the points, I guess. Two goals. So he's not really producing that much, I guess. He's not really making that much of a difference. But because we are winning games, I don't want to break the lineups or anything because we are winning games, boys. And uh, these guys still playing great. Uh, what about Isha? Still 70 points in 70 games played. Playing fantastic for his team. Uh, McLeod, new lineup. How's it going over there? Oh, they actually play. Yeah, they're playing very well together. Uh, Nikolai Ehlers. Still an elite player, by the way. Don't forget about that. Don't mind the 86 overall. He's a great player. 53 points, boys. And remember, last year, in the same amount of games almost, he had 25 points for the Winnipeg Jets. He's got 53 for us. He's playing great, boys. He's a great player. Uh, McLeod, uh, great season for him. All right, this is introduction. Basically, it's his rookie season almost. With uh, Paul Yarvi, obviously, well, he's. Uh, I think he's playing better than last year. He's having a better season than last year, or kind of the same. It's kind of the same season. I don't think he's gonna go anywhere though, because he's 25 years of age. I don't think he's gonna grow more than what he already is. Maybe maximum. 85 uh overall i think uh he got wasted at the beginning of his career and uh his potential and now he's more of a, a third line score or something like that uh what we do have right here uh yeah if we get yeah he's definitely a third line scorer boy so i don't know we'll, we'll see how it goes uh yes for brats still doing great right here to second line yeah okay so Jaden Schwartz with Crit, uh, Crosby and Vertanen, they're playing well together. They're playing very well. Uh, Vertanen uh, is getting a lot of points this year. He has a lot of points, boys. And uh, Crosby, ever since he got with us, same thing as uh, same production as uh, Patrick Kane, boys. And Patrick Kane's playing on the four, uh, first line. Crosby on the fourth line. So just remember that. Crosby, four goals, by the way. No assists, four goals. All right, finally, the scouts are done. Took me about five minutes to do them. Every time I do them, it takes about five minutes, boys. It takes a long time, but I'm ready to simulate again. Uh, we're going to go all the way up to the 80 game mark right here. So, uh, two, four, five. Just making sure every five games I'm stopping because obviously, boys, I got to make sure that the scouts are done. Everything's done. So, uh, two losses in a row here if we count uh, the other ones. So, uh, that's not too good. Lapin, you're getting out of here. You're getting, uh, get, uh, Kovacs is going to play again right here. It's supposed to be on the first line. There we go. Uh, let's get in there, boys. Let's start winning games. Uh, start, uh, stop losing games right here. There we go. We went into a little bit of a losing streak right there. Three losses in a row. But we got it back, though, with two wins in a row. But, uh, didn't like to see that. So we did, uh, get to the 50, uh, win mark, uh, this season so far. So that's good for us. And uh, Crosby is getting it done, boys. 41 goals this season. What a, se what a season he has for him as well. That's a great season for him. Got the, the 100 mark points as well. Uh, just making sure that the scouts are equipped and everything. Just making sure, boys. Yeah, everybody's equipped. 
don't don't worry about ice ice there's nobody in there anyways there's only two players don't care about them so let's continue the simulation uh that, uh, next five games boys uh that's three five yeah all the way up to the panthers for a lot of the panthers game uh let's see oh my god can we not win uh, there we go let's let's win games right here let's win some games boys come on yeah, I know we're not gonna get the uh, the president's trophy. We keep losing like that. Yeah, going on a t uh, losing streak, boys. At the end, there three games, three losses in a row. You do not like to see that. I don't want to see that whatsoever. That's not good. So last ten games, a bad record, boys. Three, three, uh, three, five, and two, bad record. So we're not scoring goals anymore. Six more goals, my guys. We're not gonna get those in two games, but. Maybe he could with two hat tricks, but it's not going to happen with the simulation and all. But uh, maybe one more year. One more year, and you could definitely get your record, buddy. Uh, playing with Jack Hughes so far. Uh, so good. A decent season, but not, uh, not as good as last year. Last year, he dominated. This year, kind of disappointing, boys. Uh, Patrick Kane. Um, he did all right with us, I guess. So far, he did all right. Uh, he had a good season overall. Uh, Jesper Bratt, uh, Isha, how is he doing? 77 points in 80 games played. I'm happy with Isha. He got 39 goals, boys, as well. We got some big time scores in the team. And uh, over here, I don't really have anybody that's really a big time scorer. They're all a bunch of passers, right? Guys that pass the puck a lot. What about Schwartz? Schwartz is kind of a disappointing guy. He hasn't really done anything the entire season. Um, so I don't know what to do with him. Uh, Crosby, per se, he does have uh, 81 points in 80 games played. But for, with us, uh, in the 18 games played, the same as... Uh, him and Kane basically have the same amount of stats. They've got the same stats, boys. So it's fine, I guess. But Crosby, though, it's all of his points almost. Well, it's six goals, five points, five assists. Okay, I guess it's fine. And Vertanen, how is he doing? He's doing all right, I guess. He didn't really produce that much compared to the other ones. So, uh, yeah, I guess Crosby, you can stay there. I mean, there's not a lot I can really do at this point in time. I'm guessing what I could do is try maybe move them up like this. Like I gotta, I gotta make some changes. That is one thing that is for uh, for sure. I got to make some changes. All right, so I think that's what I'm going to end up doing for the, uh, the two remaining games that we have for the season. I'm going to try it out like that. Maybe we can get the two games. We can win them like that. I'm going to try out Ovechkin, Hughes, and Kane stays the same. All right, it's going to stay the same for the rest of the season. Uh, even though they don't seem to play very well together. I think these two complement well each other. Complement each other well It's just... I need to find a right winger that could work well with them, maybe, I guess. Uh, second line, I'm twitching it up a little bit. Instead of Jesper Bratt, I'm playing, I'm going to be playing uh, Ehlers in, uh, with Ishiar and Bjorkstrand. Maybe it's going to elevate them a little bit. We do have a playmaker playing with them now. Well, it's just a better playmaker than Jesper Bratt, I guess, all right? Uh, Jesper Bratt is going to be playing with, with Crosby and Vertan. And Crosby, I'm moving him up to the third line, boys. I want to see what he can do for us because he produces like crazy. And we got Puliarvi on the fourth line with McLeod and Schwartz. That's the only changes. I'm not going to make any changes defensive uh, on the defensive zone. Uh, no need for do that. So uh, we're good on uh, any, uh, any other side. We're good, boys. So uh, yeah, I don't need to make any changes except for Russia right here. The scouts, I do need to take care of the scouts, boys. Scouts are done for Russia. That's pretty much it. I'm almost done. I'm uh, if I don't want my uh, my re uh, recording to be two hours long, I gotta uh, I gotta end it up uh, eventually, right? So we like we gotta finish this soon, boys. So there's only gonna be a lot of transition and a lot of cuts for me to do during the this editing. So I got a long ways ahead to go. Let's just go ahead and simulate the last two games. Can we win it? We lose in shootout. Are you serious? All right, can we win the last game at least? Win the last game. There we go. 4-1. We won it, boys. What a miracle that is. All right, so we're going to end up having a pretty decent season uh, overall for our team. Uh, fortunately, other teams, uh, while we were struggling at the end, other teams like the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Avalanche, 
right? They were having a fantastic season the entire time. They didn't struggle at all. So, I mean, 57 wins for for the Pittsburgh Penguins. And they got rid of Crosby. I, I guess they got Barkov in exchange, right? Uh, I think in the long run, it would be better. Or in the long, short term, for me, it's better to have Crosby than Barkov. In the long run, might hurt us. But, I mean, Barkov was a two-way forward. There's, there's just a, not any space for me for two-way forwards. I don't like two-way forwards on the team. Never liked them. So I just want to get rid of him, boys. Uh, same for McLeod, right? He's a top six. Uh, eventually, I might get rid of him because he's a he's a top uh, two way forward as well. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, 109 points is not too shabby. 52 wins, boys, during the season. I like seeing that. I like seeing that a lot. So everybody played their game. Yep. Let's take a look at the stats. Uh, team stats. Where we were in terms of our division right here. All right. So. We ended up being the second best goal scoring team. Now, remember, for a while there, for most of the season, we were the best uh, offensive team. I don't know. I guess we dropped a little bit there uh, at the end there. But um, we were the best defensive team. So we are the best defensive team still. We got the best power play. And penalty kill, I mean, we dropped a little bit there. Yeah, we were third best penalty kill. We dropped to the fifth uh, best uh, so tweener is on but still like very remarkable nonetheless uh, I mean there we go and four goals now it doesn't really count for Crosby because he wasn't there the entire season he just got there like for the last 10 games but but still remarkable for him both Ovechkin and Crosby both have uh, 41 goals each We've got another 40 goal scorer in uh, Nico Ishia, which had a fantastic season this year uh, by far his uh, best season he ever ever had is his career, boys. So, uh, really good season all year long. I really, I'm really happy about what he did for us. And uh, Ovechkin uh, really had a great season. As soon as I, I mean, I put him um, for most of part on the third line, but I decided to put him on the first line with uh, Jack Hughes, and all of a sudden he he went from like 16 goals to 41 goals, boys. You can see the difference where he plays and stuff like that. How much time on ice he gets. So that's pretty much that. Uh, Point-wise, we got Crosby uh, coming in with the 81 points in 82 games played. Now, it's worse than uh, it's his worst season by far that he ever had. And that's saying a lot, boys. But um, still a pretty good season, in my opinion. Even though he only had 11 points in 20 games played. I feel like uh, that's pretty good on this part. Uh, Nico Ischia with the best uh, second best player of our team. Patrick Kane, 70, 73 points, uh, 11 points in 20 games played. So he had the same thing as Crosby. Him and Crosby basically produced the same right there. And uh, next up would be Ovechkin. Where is he? Three more goals in his career, boys. Three more goals and he gets the record. Uh, so he just needs to not retire this year and he should be fine. All right. Jesper Bratt having a fantastic season. I mean, Jesper Bratt most of the season played on the second line. Keeps going up, boys. He's a really reliable player for us. He's a great player. He got 17 goals. And uh, f he's not a goal scorer. He's definitely someone that passes the puck quite a lot, boys. So 67 points right there. He's a great player for us. Uh, Bjorkstrand, 65 points. Great job for him. Uh, Jack Hughes, 65 points as well. Uh, for a guy that literally had 92 points last year, Kind of a disappointing year. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, I guess we didn't find the right lineup. Uh, teammates for him. This year. It's still not bad. It's not a bad season. But uh, it's not a great season uh, either. You know. It could have done a lot better. Uh, Nikolai Ehlers. A great uh, good season for him. Overall. Really good season compared to when we picked him up. Vertanen. All of these. Guys, all right, so Dougie Hamilton, uh, Paul Yarvi, uh, 37 points compared to uh, over here. Basically, we traded for him, right? Uh, he finished up last year with uh, 31 points. So, better season this year. He had a better season, boys, point wise. So, that's good for him, I guess. Don't think he's going to really grow that much, though. Uh, defensive wise for us, Dougie Hamilton, Ristolainen, Gastishbeer, all right. 
And uh, goalie wise, well, Markstrom with the 40 goal, mar 40 win. All right, so 40 uh, wins for him. Last year, he did get, obviously, he got like 50 mark, right? Yeah, he got 50 wins last year. So, but that's more of his style. We get 40 wins per season. And he's still like, he's always the, like, really good. He's always, he always plays very good. So, um, I think uh, that's really good for him. Long Vis, I mean, he had a great season. 12 wins. And uh, just adding up to his legendary status, I guess. We're going to go all the way up to the um, the actual uh, entire season. Let's take a look at uh, who's who, who's the best player. Looks like the best scorer is going to be uh, McKinnon, uh, McKinnon. So he's the best scorer, boys. 43, go uh, 43 uh, goals for him. So there wasn't a big time score at 50 w uh, goals uh, this year. A uh, bunch of 40 goal scorers, though, as you can see right here. So, Crosby and Vetchkin, we have, we just added basically to our team two of the best, uh, two of the top three the uh, scorers on the of the league. All right, so that's pretty fantastic. Best player of the league, McKinnon with 104 points. Lendeskog, probably playing with him. Uh, Shifley, Marner, uh, Rentanen. Uh, I call Brendan Point, Ertel, and Crosby right there, boys, in the top 10. Crosby in the top 10, as usual. Uh, Carlson with 73, 73 points, all of this. Everybody's basically playing the same, as usual. Uh, Goalie-wise, who are Merzlin Skins, or whatever. Uh, great goaltender for them. He's only 84 overall, boys, but that's probably because of the team he's got in front of him. Uh, 80, 49 wins for him this season. Uh, really good, really, uh, really good record. So I think he's gonna get the Vizina. Uh, I would have said probably uh, Markstrom would have been a good contender, but because of the 49 mark compared to the 40 uh, wins, I think it's gonna be Merzlinchi. But great season nonetheless for Markstrom once again. Best rookie of the season, Keaton Smith, boys, the first overall draft pick from uh, the previous uh, draft. He, he played great, 51 points already for him. And uh, Rochette, uh, Schulzer, all right, so all these little players right here. So that's pretty much it for this season, boys. Uh, we're going to see who we're going to be up against in the first round really quick. Let's uh, simulate and see who we're going to be facing, boys. First round is going to be the New York Islanders. All right, then. Let's see who, uh, who's moving up already. We can see Arizona Coyotes are moving up. And the Avalanche are moving up, obviously, as well. Uh, and Pittsburgh's moving up. Philadelphia's moving up as well. So it's going to be a uh, rivalry team. Philadelphia and Pittsburgh in the second round. That's going to be great. But uh, anyways, I'm going to see you guys for the next video. Where we're going to be doing the playoffs. Hopefully lasting a little bit longer. I believe we're facing off against the same team that, eliminate, that uh, literally eliminated us in the first round last year. Right? So we got to beat them this year. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. Keep it easy.